Google Sheets has this cool feature that shows um, your revision history. So you can see here's a new uh, revision history. And uh, the question that I was trying to find an answer for was how to do a permalink to one of those revision histories. So let's say we want to change this to uh, make a couple changes. you can see that I've made some changes and I want to be able to send a permalink to someone to say hey uh, please refer to these these changes actually let's put another set of changes in there for uh, for reference um, Basically here, this was when the new, this was the revision when the new uh, data came in. This is when I made my first set of changes. And this is when I made uh, my final set of changes. So I want to be able to um, send someone a link to this so that they can see just those changes. Uh, it might be for auditing purpose, purposes, um, something like that. So what you can do go to developer tools and we'll refresh the page which is what we'll do we'll click on this link right there if we go to developer tools uh, I was expecting to see there we go look for the one that says show You can see here, here's a link that says show the changes from revision, changes from revision 2 to revision 5. So if you take all that, let's try that. Yeah, paste it into your uh, menu bar there, so you can see a link here. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can send them the link. But there's nothing a user can do there. But if it's just for um, visual purposes, then that's probably good enough. That's the link right there. Uh, the other option is if you make one change, actually two, change that to notify, change that to S, try it again. So now you can see the changes here like before, but there's a view full spreadsheet uh, link. So if I click view full spreadsheet, you can see it goes back to the full spreadsheet. And of course, I can go to the revision history here again. So that was a brief example of how you can use developer tools to get the revision history and then uh, have a permalink to that.